Hi guys. Um, yeah, I've been a bit quiet in the video for, for the last couple of weeks, but I'm back with what will hopefully be the first of quite a few videos over the next week. Um, and today I'm going to be unboxing the latest edition of My Little Box. Now, from what I gather, this is the theme. Coconut. Hold my hand. I'm going to hold my hands up here. I am not the world's biggest fan of coconut scented products. So yeah, this could go both ways, so we'll see. But anyway, the box is lovely as per usual. Coconuts and palm trees, very tropical. So this is what we get when we open it up. And undo the ribbon. And first of all, the two basic necess items nece necessary to sustain life are sunshine and coconut milk. That's by Dustin Hoffman, apparently. Um, don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> Sunshine, yes. Coconut milk, mm, no, not so fussed. I, I mean, I don't, it's not that I dislike coconut. I just had a really bad incidence with Malibu. Yes, Malibu coconut rum a long time ago. And it's altered my opinion ever since. Yeah. <sighs> Drink responsibly. Right. First of all, get your magazine. Coconut, my little world. So let's have a look and see what's in here. Um... Magic oil, all about coconut oil. Um, island topping in the Philippines. Um, all about nice tropical islands that I can't afford to go to. Um, bit of fashion. A um, bit about Stella and Dolph jewellery. Um, um, uses for coconut. Um, coconut cuisine. Um, and some recipes. Gluten-free coconut granola. Now that sounds interesting. Has it got honey in it though? It hasn't got honey in it. That makes a change for granola recipes. I don't like honey either. So yeah, I might give that a go actually. And pumpkin soup with coconut curry dressing. So yeah, that's your magazine. Then you've got your little bag. Um, and you've got all the places you'll go. Um, Dr. Seuss, 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 whatever. Um, my friend got me a book for my graduation, Dr. Seuss, the places you go, the people you'll see. Um, yeah, so I think that's where that com that one comes from. Um, and I think, according to this, it is a passport holder. Let's have a look. I know someone who works on airport security and they can't stand these things. They literally say, please trick them off before you get to security. For some reason, it can't be in the holder when you get to security. But yeah, I think that's quite cute. Palm trees, tropical flowers. Let's get lost. Let's get not lost. I don't like getting lost ever. But yeah, that's good. Seems pretty substantial. Um, I do actually need one of these because I don't know where my old ones have gone. Because my, so my, my passport is starting to look a little bit dog-eared. But yeah, so I'll stick it in there and I'm sure it'll be good. Right, so that was that. Then we've got another box. Sunshine suits you. Yes, it does. But in the UK, we haven't had a lot of it at the moment. Um, yeah, it's been on and off with rain all day. It's July. It shouldn't be that way. Never mind. So uh, this is Stella and Dot for my little box. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's a bracelet. Right. Oh, that looks really small. Um, I very much doubt it is. But will I be able to get it on my wrist? Uh, this could go badly wrong for a video. Oh my god, that is so small. Okay. <sighs> will I be able to fasten this? Yeah, I should be able to fasten it. I'm not going to do it now, but... It's sort of a gold bangle and you've got a chain across. Um, sort of half a cuff and half a thingy and it's got a little tassel on. And that says Stella and Dot. It does actually fit. It's quite extendable, so as long as you can fasten it, that's okay. But, yeah, that's quite cute. I can't say it's something I would buy myself, but it is quite sweet. And I love the little box. It's got a sort of hessian in it, which is really cute. So, yeah, that's that. And finally... We have the My Little Box bag. So let's see what's in there. First of all, you get all your leaflets. Um, according to this, the bracelet's worth £18 and they would sell on their My Little Box shop the passport holder for £11. Um, so we'll see what else is in here. All these little cards, I'll have a look at them there. Right, first thing. Oh, Ocean. Now, I love Ocean. I'm in my bathroom now and I can see some Ocean. My mum loves the Ocean as well. 
and this is a sample of the Ray Blends Oil Moisture Therapy Medium Texture for Hair with Dry Ends. And that is a sample, so I'm interested to use that. Anything hair related, you know I'm all over. Um, so yeah, very interested to use that. Right, but Brum de Coco Apro Soleil. Coconut Spritzer After Sun Spray. Um, let's see. So yeah, that looks like. And that is 100 mils. So. Oh, it smells very coconutty. Actually, it actually smells more of the Manoy sort of the Manoy de Tahiti, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you've ever smelled that. I've, there's a couple of products came in boxes. And it's sort of, um, it's tropical flowers, mainly gardenias, that are actually soaked in the coconut oil. It smells more like that than true coconut. It has a very, it is, does have a very summery smell and it feels very moisturising actually for a spray. So even if I don't use that as an after sun, I'll probably use it as a body lotion. I do quite like the smell because it's not just out and out coconut. So yeah, that. And, let's see what else. Oh, hand antibacterial gel. Um, it's funny, I'm just nearly out. I'm using a Bath and Body Works one at the moment, which I'm nearly out. And this is exactly the same type of bottle as the Bath and Body Works one. Um, Mercy Handy Coco Rio Love Hand Love and Hand Cleansing Gel. So it looks like it's a blue one. I'm presuming from the label it's probably coconut related, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, it does smell a bit coconutty. Coconut and alcohol. If you use public transport, you need these. Um, I've seen some gross things on public transport, but um, yeah, if I use public transport, if I'm if there was a chance I would eat or drink anything, I always make sure I've got hand sanitizers on me, so that will get used up. And finally, oh, it's a fragrance now. A bit of a love hate thing on fragrances, as you know, um, because I think it's such a personal thing. And this one is Yves Rocher Noir de Coco Coconut Eau de Toilette. Now I'm going to spray it on this wrist, so. Mm. Mm. Right, I need to give it a minute or two, but that's what it looks like. Again, not out and out coconut. There's a coconut underlie, but it's quite musky, quite warm. And yeah, not bad. Not something I would choose personally. But it's not actually as bad for me as what it could have been. Yeah, that's actually okay. I, I, could, I might potentially wear that as a summer fragrance. Right, summing up, what do I think? Well, it's very coconut based, um, as you would expect from the label. So I think that's a love-hate thing, heads up. Passport cover, if I remember rightly, they did do one last year that was more of a travel document thing with passport holder in. But I actually prefer the passport holder on its own, so I think that's okay. Um, a lot of people buy them. Um, they are quite useful, especially if you travel a lot because your passport over the years can end up looking a little bit dog-eared. Um, bracelet, again, not everyone I think would love, would like that. Um, I quite like that actually, and bizarrely enough, despite it looking teeny tiny, it will actually fit me. Um, samples, after sun lotion. Well, I don't know, personally, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of that. But anything as an after sun, you can use it as a body lotion, so that's all right. And in the spray format, that's really good. Because you can hit parts of your body that you can't normally reach. Ocean oil, I'm really interested to try because I'm interested in the brand. Hand sanitizer, always useful. Um, perfume, we'll see. We'll see whether I would use that. At the end of the day, I probably would because it does smell a bit... It actually reminds me of, it's not quite as sweet, but it reminds me of one of the Gwen Stefani ones, um, the Harajuku Lovers ones, it reminds me of one of those. Um, so that, I can see people liking that, but I can see people not liking that. All in all, bit, mm, it's okay for me, um, I like some of the things in it, some of it's a bit, mm, but um, it's okay. Um, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, it's okay, it's okay, it's not amazing, it's not bad, it's not awful but um yeah just okay just okay i've had a few just okay little boxes and then you get a brilliant one so it's kind of it's a difficult one it's a difficult one but um i'm not sure how much longer i'm going to continue with my little box to be honest because there's not enough wowing me lately but we'll see um yeah i kind of like getting boxes and i'm gradually sort of running them down but um 
yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but okay, not amazing, not fantastic, nothing to scream going brilliant or how brilliant it is, but it's okay. I'll pretty much probably use most of it. So yeah, so that was my thoughts on my little box. July, yeah, it's July, July edition. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, please. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Um, and stay tuned for more videos. I've got lots more videos coming up, lots of hauls, lots of shopping. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get a favourites up month, uh, a June favourites up, but um, it will be a combined July and June when I do it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.